when you're new to breakdowns, you get called to a no heat and fault. You get there, you kind of look at the boiler, it's not doing anything. You turn the programmer on, turn the room start up, boiler's still not doing anything. You try and call your mate, can't get hold of him because there's no signal. Then you remembered at the weekend, you bought that breakdown Bible everyone was talking about. You can have a look through the folder without having to have that awkward conversation with your mate on the phone with the customer listening, making it look like you don't know what you're doing. You know, you've got all the contents pages, you've got the wiring diagrams, you've got the fault finding flow charts, you've got pretty much everything, but you need to put the time in and learn it, otherwise it's not going to do anything. So for this one, the customer's left me to it, so I'm going to take the breakdown Bible inside. Let's get stuck in. There's a heat heating on wiring sequence, so it goes from the programmer to the room stat, and then from the room stat to the zone valve on white. So let's have a look in the 10-way. What we're going to be checking for in the 10-way is to see if we've got 240 on white, basically. Oh, my days. Look at the state of that. Once we've located white, one probe on earth, one probe on white. We've got 240 on there, so we know we've got power to the zone valve. And we haven't got any volts going through the three-port valve, so we know that the zone valve is at fault. So we get that three-port valve head changed, boff, just like that. Easiest way, swap one wire for one wire. If you want to buy a breakdown Bible, links in my bio to the shop. Once that's all done, put the power back on. See what we got on white. We had 240 before, we got it again. And now we're getting 240 on orange. Go down to the boiler, boiler's firing. Happy days.